Right, so today we're going to be taking a look at this hail long down tube type 36 volt 10.4 ampere e-bike battery. Uh, so this is the cheapest one I could find on eBay, just slightly over £100. I mean, obviously the price could change, but that's, that's you know, it was about £118 with postage, I think it was. So it's not too bad. Uh, so let's look at the battery in detail. So on the front here, we've got the battery indicator with four lights it seems to be reasonably accurate for what it is i mean obviously you know you don't give get a good sense of how, how much battery you got left but you know it's 100 percent and when it gets down to the last one it's between 20 and zero percent uh, on the side here we've got a barrel jack connector to charge it now it says 42 volts input at two amps on the other side, we have a keyhole there where you put your key and then you can use that to lock it onto the bracket which goes on the frame of your bike. It doesn't do anything else, it doesn't turn the battery on or off or anything, it's just to lock it to the uh, down tube of your bike on the bracket. On the bottom here, uh, to connect it to the bike, it's got these little plastic brackets. Uh, I have heard of other people having to epoxy little metal brackets on here because these little plastic bits are broken off, so that's something to look out for. I have been quite rough on my bike with it, and they haven't broken yet, so, you know, they possibly will do in the future. And then you've just got the specifications of the battery here and the 36 volt 10.4 amp hour and there are the connectors which connect to the bracket on the bicycle let's quickly take a look at the uh, bracket on the bicycle so it's all plastic uh, underneath here uh, there's four screws here and on the other side there is a metal piece and the mounts for a bottle cage i uh, put a i drilled a hole through the piece of metal here and then put a bolt through there to hold it through that metal part as well and then also i uh, added two extra um, bolts up here which i had to uh, drill through into the frame and then i tapped those holes and then put some bolts in there to make sure it was really sturdily mounted because i have heard of people with these uh, with just the two uh, mountain points just completely rip off through the plastic because there's no metal on this up the top here whatsoever so that's one thing to consider for with and then underneath here there's just two wires inside there which are coming out here and then connecting into where the controller goes up here right so i'm just going to quickly take this battery apart and i'll show you what's inside right so here's the inside of the battery uh, here you can see the uh, 18650 cells, the Samsung, and there's the model number, so look that up. So yeah, overall, I mean, it looks quite nice. Um, it seems to be quite well built, it's, you know, it's been well packed. Uh, as you can see, the cells, they have actually been professionally done with a welding machine rather than done by hand uh, we've got some foam on the sides here to protect the battery to cushion it and that overall it looks pretty decent really as you can see uh, this is actually stuck to the bottom now i presume the bms is probably at the bottom here underneath uh, I'm not going to rip it apart completely. I would like to, but uh, yeah, then it will completely void the warranty then. If there is any warranty with it. <laughs> uh, there's no wires going to the key lock, so there's no power on or anything. But you can see the cells in there. And up the back there, it looks like there's some balancing leads in there as well. But yeah, overall, it looks to be quite nice. 
So yeah, I'll just show you the uh, capacity which I got out of it. Right, so here you can see I got 25.48 miles range. And um, I didn't completely run the battery out, it was nearly run out, it was on the last bar, and I got 9.657 amp hours. Right, so that is back on the bike. So what I'll do is I'm going to cycle this battery a few times, you know, probably about 30, 40 times, and then I'll get back to you and make a update video on this in the future. But overall, it looks to be pretty good. I mean, it's got Samsung cells in there. They look like they are definitely real ones. The capacity checks out to the uh, what the listing say, says it is. Obviously, I didn't run it down fully there, but you know we're nearly up to the 10 amp hour mark so yeah i mean overall it looks to be pretty decent you know for the money so i'm i'm pretty happy with it so far but like i say i will make an update video so yeah please make sure you check the links in the description uh be much appreciated uh also uh yeah please comment like the video subscribe hit the bell icon it would be much appreciated and yeah everybody take care thanks very much bye